Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today we're going to be tackling a massive issue that is affecting men all over the world, which is low testosterone levels. Trust me when I say low testosterone is the real pandemic men are facing today. And it's not just about your libido, it's affecting everything from your energy levels to your mental health and even how you perform in the gym. If you've been feeling off lately, this could be the reason why. I'm going to share with you seven proven ways to naturally optimize your testosterone levels. And some of these may shock you. So if you're ready to reclaim your manhood and feel like yourself again, keep watching. And the reason why I'm making this video specifically is because I personally have faced um, symptoms of low testosterone levels. I'm not sure if you guys have followed me for quite some time, but if you have, you probably know that I actually documented this entire experience on my YouTube channel, so you can definitely scroll back a couple of years ago. But um, I did a my first bodybuilding show back in 2021, and leading up to it, obviously I was eating low calories, tons of cardio, high stress, um, low body fat percentage, right? And these are all kind of like things that could lead to lower testosterone levels. And I actually got my blood work tested after the show was done and my testosterone, testosterone levels came back extremely low. I forget what it was um, when it comes to decimal or whatever the, the, the metrics are for that, but um, it, was, it came back really, really low essentially, right? And this was back in 2021. Fast forward to today, 2024, I recently got mine back again and they're now at the 900 levels, which is like the most optimal peak range when it comes to like the reference range when it comes to that. So that is why I'm making this video and these are also tools and tips that I've used personally to increase my own testosterone levels naturally. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Now, when it comes to the issue at hand here, right, the lower testosterone levels are literally wrecking men's lives. Like I said in the intro, it may um, cause lower libido, man boobs, depression, constant fatigue, trouble focusing, belly fat, and even problems in the bedroom, right? You're not just tired, you're literally losing what makes you a man. And if you've noticed any of these symptoms, you may need to take some action right away. But do not worry, there's a solution, and it doesn't involve injections and or prescriptions at least from the start. Um, and in this video, I'm going to give you those seven strategies that I mentioned earlier to boost those testosterone levels naturally, which at least worked for me, right? Now, the first thing is going to be sleep. I know it's not a sexy answer, but it is crucial. Sleep is where all the magic happens. If you're not getting at least seven to eight, if not nine hours of high quality, emphasis on the word high quality, sleep each night, your body simply won't produce enough testosterone. Sleep is your body's time to recover, regenerate, and optimize hormone production. So if you're burning the midnight oil, it's time to rethink your priorities. Start by creating a consistent sleeping schedule and watch how your energy and testosterone levels transform because... Um, Quite simply put, if you're waking up feeling groggy, low energy, you're not going to have the energy, right, required in order to do all these tasks of um, what you may consider as being a high testosterone task, whether it's exercising, right, walking, running, um, even like doing something that requires a lot of effort. One thing that Andrew Huberman um, quoted, which is like super popular now, and the way he describes the feeling of having high testosterone is simply um, making efforts or whenever you do effort and it feels good. Effort should feel good whenever you are at a high testosterone level, right? And if effort doesn't feel good, right? Like if you don't feel amped up to do workouts, lift some heavy weights, or do just a difficult, demanding task, that probably means that your testosterone levels are really, really low, right? And when it comes to your sleeping schedule, this is going to be massive because if you're constantly going to bed at different times, let's say it's midnight one day, and you try to go to bed at 8 p.m. the next day, it's like your body has no idea when it should start to feel sleepy at a certain time, and this doesn't help your uh, your circadian rhythm either, which is your body's biological clock, which can actually help you and um, make you going to sleep a lot easier and at the same time also make waking up a lot easier as well because going back to if you don't have a consistent sleeping schedule it's going to be really difficult to consistently fall asleep at the same time and then also more importantly wake up at the same time every single morning i assume 90 percent of people watching this right now rely on an alarm to wake up every single morning I, that used to be the case for myself as well, but ever since I dialed in my sleeping routine, um, I don't really have to rely on one anymore, right? Because instead of actually having a morning routine or a morning uh, wake up, sorry, a wake up alarm, now I actually have a bedtime alarm. So instead of having to rely on an alarm to wake me up, I actually have an alarm now to 
remind me to wind down for bed. And ever since I started doing that as well, um, I kind of like do my winding down routine, maybe like an hour before bed where I get rid of all the blue lights. I do some relaxing activities. I take a shower. I do some stretching, some meditating, some yoga. I read a book. I just do something relaxing to like really wind myself down for sleep. And then once I fall asleep, I can just boom, seven, eight, nine hours every single night. And then I wake up at the same time every single morning as well. And so this helps regulate your sleeping cycle, which can also help regulate your energy levels throughout the day. So definitely you have to start with your sleep. It's probably the easiest thing anyone can do. You don't need a gym membership for this. You don't need to change up your diet. You just need to change your sleeping habits and you'll notice that you'll um, see some, hopefully some pretty big changes right away. The second point here is exercise. Weight training, especially resistance training, is an absolute game changer when it comes to boosting testosterone. When you lift heavy weights, your body releases hormones that trigger muscle growth and with it, your testosterone production as well. Aim for a minimum of 30 minutes of exercise five days a week. So you don't have to blast it seven days a week for two hours, three hours on end because there's a thing as overdoing it. And if you're constantly exercising and not allowing your body for enough rest, your cortisol is also going to increase, which is kind of like um, a catabolic hormone in your body. Essentially, whenever your stress is really high, your cortisol is really high. And whenever you do that, you're actually going to be in a catabolic state, which means that you're quite literally, right? Catabolic means breaking down muscle. So you're going to be literally losing muscle, which is not what you want. So there's definitely a fine line when it comes to that. But I think a lot of people are concerned with the wrong thing um, in terms of like, oh, like I don't exercise because I don't want to overdo it with my body. I don't want to cause too much stress to my, t- to my body. But exercise is important. But for a lot of people, overtraining or training too much um, is definitely not an issue that I would say 90% of people should not really be stressing over too, too much. A lot of people have the opposite issue of not exercising too much. Um, But yeah, definitely five days a week, 30 minutes minimum is a good kind of starting place for that. Now, when it comes to the workouts itself, definitely focus on those compound lifts like the squats, bench presses, deadlifts, overhead presses. So not only do you maximize um, your time in the gym, these are also shown to increase your testosterone as well. Um, Again, these exercises not only help you build muscle, but then also elevates those T levels. The third point here is stress. Going back to what I said previously, stress isn't just bad for your mood. It's a testosterone killer. When you're stressed, your body pumps out cortisol and cortisol directly inhibits testosterone production. Take control of your stress with techniques like yoga, meditation, or even just five minutes of deep breathing each day. You'd be surprised just actually focusing on your breath. Really quickly, guys, when was the last time you actually focused on breathing? When was the last time you actually like did that and actually did that five, 10, 30 times in a row? I highly doubt it. We all go through life where we just like don't even focus on our breath, but you'd be surprised how more at ease you feel if you just do that five times, just focusing on taking a deep breath in and then a deep breath out. Now, not only will this improve your mood, but your testosterone levels will thank you as well because that, again, directly reduces your stress. And when your stress reduces, your cortisol reduces, which, again, that inhibits your testosterone levels. So make sure that your stress is dialed in. And what you will notice is if your sleep is dialed in, your stress will automatically kind of go down as well. On top of that, one thing I like to do personally, what I recommend all my clients to do is I'm having a daily to-do list. So what I have written here right next to me is my daily to-do list. And this just clarifies my day because instead of waking up every single morning, relying on an alarm to wake up, feeling sleep deprived and then rushing out the house and almost letting the day the day attack you, you want to wake up essentially attacking the day, right? So instead of you having to rush, um, rush out the house to go to work, eat a breakfast on the go, being in this high stress state, it's like, well, if you were to just, again, dial in your sleeping routine, right? Actually get enough proper sleep in each day, having a to-do list, knowing exactly what you're going to be doing hour by hour, day by day, so you don't constantly feel in this high stress state. Your stress is going to alleviate by so, so much, and you're your life is going to change because of it, because your testosterone is going to increase. And um, yeah, like definitely that should be a no brainer for you. This one's a bit underrated, but I think a lot of people lack this and that is purpose. This one is again, a bit deeper, but a man, specifically a man without a strong purpose in life, distracts himself with short-term pleasures. I'm going to say that again. A man without a purpose distracts himself with a short with short-term pleasures, whether it's binge watching TV, overeating, or scrolling endlessly through social media. These distractions drain your energy 
and your focus. And the reason why you do all these aimless activities, right, is because you probably lack purpose in life. Like, you don't see me right now scrolling on TikTok or binge-watching YouTube videos or eating a bunch of, like, junk food because I am on a mission. I have physical goals that I'm working towards. I'm currently practicing for a marathon while still keeping up with my weight training sessions. Um, at the same time, we're also growing our online coaching empire. We're growing our online social social media pages. Like, I am on a purpose right now. I am on a mission. And had I, like, do it. Had I not been on a mission, I mean, yeah, I'd probably be like just distracting myself with all these short term pleasures as well, right? These instant gratification activities that isn't really going to lead me to anything. So, when you have a clear purpose or goal in mind, your body responds by optimizing your energy, your focus, and yes, your testosterone levels. Find something meaningful to work towards, and you'll see, you'll see a major shift in your overall vitality. This may mean maybe switching careers for work. If you're currently going to work every single day and you're dreading it, you're looking forward to the weekends, you don't enjoy the day-to-day -day task of it, it's like I would recommend changing it up because like work is supposed to be fun. And work is like we all – like we spend the majority, majority of our times working, especially as men, right? It's like – we work to pay the bills. We work to do this, but we might as well, right? Knowing that that is the case, enjoy what our work is. So I highly encourage you to figure out what your purpose is. I did a bunch of different things prior to doing this. Like I was working part-time jobs. I went to school and studied economics, all these things. And I kind of have to ask myself this question. It's like, well, and I, again, I wasn't feeling fulfilled doing any, any of those things. And I asked myself, it's like, well, is this the purpose of life? Is this like, is this like the meaning where I just clock in at work? I, I worked part-time at a gym. I worked part-time at a supplement store. I worked at Walmart stocking shelves. I worked at a dishwasher store. I worked as a chef. Like I was doing all these things, right? While still doing school and decide I'm like well is this what life is supposed to be like I felt so unfulfilled I felt so depressed right and it wasn't until I took that leap of faith when I went all in on my online training right I started training people in person which that gave me a lot of fulfillment then we transitioned into online coaching then we started making social media content to attract the people that we actually want to help right and now every single day I wake up with just like this sense of excitement because I am on my purpose and I'm on a mission to change the people who are we are working with right so if you don't feel that sense of purpose and enjoyment I highly encourage you to just take a look and reassess where you're at right now now the second thing here, and this isn't the second thing, I think this is the fifth thing here, and that is your diet. Our diet plays a massive role in our testosterone production. So make sure you're getting enough vitamin D, zinc, and omega-3s. These are the building blocks for healthy testosterone. So add foods like fatty fish, egg yolks, oysters, and flax seeds into your diet. Specifically, any type of healthy fat, even like avocados, nuts, nut butters, and seeds, these are awesome Awesome, awesome, awesome to keep your hormones nice and healthy. You'll be feeding your body with the nutrients it needs to produce more testosterone naturally. And again, guys, these are all the things that I've been doing ever since I got diagnosed with low testosterone levels. And I've seen a massive difference in my testosterone levels. But not just that, like just the way I feel as well, right? So now that you've gone and got these seven steps, it is time for you to take action. Because I just don't want you to watch this video and then do nothing with it. Right? Because I want to make sure that you watch this video and start implementing these things right away. But oftentimes what I notice is that despite people knowing what to do in terms of, okay, like I know how to get in shape. Like I should probably be exercising, eating healthier, sleeping more, reducing my stress levels. But it's like, why haven't you done it yet? And the reason why is because you probably lack accountability. A lot of people know what to do, but they lack action. They don't take any action. And that is because they don't have someone there to say like, hey, Jonathan, hey, Bob. Make sure that you show up to the gym at this time. Make sure that you eat these foods. Make sure you show up, right? Because, yeah, if you haven't done it yet, you probably lack the accountability. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to go ahead and schedule a free consultation call with our team right now. And we'll basically map out a game plan for you to absolutely crush your not only your fitness goals, but your testosterone levels as well to ensure that you actually live the quality of life that you want to live, right? Not just for you, but for your friends your family members, so you can actually show up as a leader and as the man of the house that you are deserving to be. So the link is in the description down below. If you guys do have any questions regarding anything regarding this topic, please let me know, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.